you might see me again. No, so that's no. an old, old, old India. <laughs> now I think it's a, it's a good mixture of boys. Uh, when the 37 boys were called, I think everyone got a fair chance because there was, a, there was no knowledge about what the kind of players are from the coach's side. Just few clips here and there. So whatever I saw is how he selected the boys. So I think it was a, it's, it's a new chance for everyone to prove. The first thing he came and said to the meeting was, the Thatal and Chetri means the same to me, which is a great message to everyone that you work hard and you're going to get a chance. So I think uh, in that context, it's, it, it's good. And eventually when the team is made, you guys can see how new it is, the way we play, how new is that. And uh, yeah, you guys will have a better answer to that. But yes, a, a different way to train, a different coaching staff, uh, everyone is excited. Yeah, he said to us in the first meeting, I think that's a great one, great thing. A lot of people called me because of that. And I wondered if he would have said, no matter what people do, Chetri will always play, he wouldn't have liked that either. <laughs> when he said the right thing, that no matter what anyone is or the name, whoever performs well is going to be in the team, still people don't like it. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing if, uh, if, if I have to go to a new team, I would probably do the same thing. And it's just not what he said, he means that exactly on the pitch. When he comes, he, he, he gauges art in, in the same way what he does to a junior boy. So every, everyone is the same in his, in his eyes, and which is a good thing because everyone has to work hard, number one, and everyone has a fair chance to come into the team. I think the first challenge is to understand and to understand much more of what the coach wants and the way he wants us to play. That will always be a challenge and it, it takes time. I just hope that we can grasp a lot before playing our first match on the fifth. The second difficult challenge was that we were, a lot of us were coming from an off-season so we had to work hard on our fitness also. I just hope that doesn't bite us because we just had what 12 days, 13 days to a new coach. These two are I think the major, major challenges that we're going to face. I think it wouldn't be fair before we play our first game because we're just training right now. He's trying a lot of things, trying a lot of positions, trying a lot of different players in different positions. So I, I, I would not be able to comment and if I do it, it might be wrong. But um, he's somebody I'm, I'm sure you should ask him for a better answer, but he's somebody who, who, who believes in a total football thing where he, he really thinks that a defence has to be really strong, as a defending unit we have to be really strong and whenever we get a chance, we really have to be brave to go and attack. So I think after a few games, probably we'll have a better answer of exactly what kind of coach he is. Yeah, the first five games we're getting is Curaçao, Vietnam, or Thailand, DPR, Tajikistan and Syria. That's a decent, decent lineup. That's a really good menu. I don't think the last time where we played five teams back to back like this, I think that's a good one and I think all the other dates that the coach wants and the teams want, I hope he gets. I think one of the reasons why we didn't do well last time, the primary reason was we players didn't do well. I don't think we played really well in those in those qualifiers. It took us time and then probably we did all right. I just hope that uh, after four years when he talked to me, I don't say the same thing about these qualifiers. And I just hope when come the qualifiers in, in September, September starts, no? September. I think uh, I just hope that we at that time we understand a lot of what the coach wants. The coach understands exactly the kind of pool he has to choose from, and 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 uh, we reached September as the best possible team as we can in terms of fitness, in terms of knowing the players, in terms of knowing how the coach wants us to play. No, all of them are different, man. I think uh, Ben Kovmans, Bob Houghton, Stephen Constantine, and. Ego coach, they all, all are different in their ways. One thing is 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 common, if I may say so, is they're all very hardworking. Mm. You know, even ego coach is really, really hardworking. I mean, technically and tactically, is very, very knowledgeable. The kind of games he has played as a player and the kind of plays he has coached tells you the the, the fact. And also, he's very, very hardworking, and which is very nice. He's very, very approachable. If you ask Thapa or Komal, they can go and talk to him, and he's ready to talk to them and he's ready to help them, which is nice. Of course, it's just nine days and everything is nice right now till the time we play a game. Uh, but yeah, the, the initial stuff is really nice, very positive. The camp is a happy camp. All the boys are really enjoying it. And that's a good start. I think there are many. I think the number 11, Sunil Chetri is one of them. He'll do well in future. I think Udanta is good. He's going to do well. Sandesh is there, Gupit is there. The good thing about this team is, a lot of boys are coming and doing well at the same time. Like Sandesh, like Gupit, like Udanta. Uh, Pritam is doing well, there's Pranoy, there's Amrinda, I don't want to miss out names, Thapa. So a lot of young boys are doing good at the same time, which is always a positive. Because then you don't have one doing well and a pressure comes to another. The whole batch is doing well and I just hope that uh, they, they, they carry this on. The names that I've taken did really well in the last three years. I just hope that after 15 years we can say this whole batch did really well for our country. So that's a good thing and uh, because the camp 
the, the atmosphere is so nice and so happy. I just hope we capitalize on it. It's an honor and privilege, man. And I, I generally don't think about it. But when I listen to it, it's it's unbelievable because such a huge country, such a big history. And now I'm, I probably, if I play the game, I probably will be the the only guy, the the first guy. It's an unbelievable achievement, and I'm I'm, I'm really happy about it. Really privileged and honored. I don't take it for granted. I work as hard as possible for my country and the club, and I'll keep doing that. We did talk about it a few times. Uh, generally, not as much as you guys talk because we are busy with the national team. But I just hope we get the answer quick. It is it is always conducive when you know the whole calendar as to what team, which team, what league, which games, the the, the international friendlies and stuff like that. It's always conducive. It's always nice. I, what I've heard is the, all the big think tanks are working on it. And I just hope that we get the answer soon. And if we don't, you guys please keep asking them. It is very, very good. No, it's, it, I, I really mean it. So keep asking them. Media plays a very important role. Then everybody has to work hard. You know, if, if you keep saying that Sunjitri was bad in the game, Sunjitri will want to play well. So it's as simple as that. And I just hope that we get the answer soon. But I know for a fact they're working really hard. It's not easy. Uh, they're working really hard. And we just hope that as a nation, we get the answer. And an answer that, that, that suffices and makes a lot of us happy. Hey Virat Champ, I hope you're doing well. I hope the team is doing really, really well. Uh, I've already messaged you, but they want me to say on TV also. So all the very best. Do well. Enjoy it. We're already very proud of you guys. Uh, go there and enjoy. Are you planning to visit uh, UK for one of the matches? Any plans? Yeah, the moment the moment the person is asking me the question, is going to give me tickets. I'll definitely come and watch you guys. Any World Cup memories you have? I haven't played a World Cup yet. The Under 17 World Cup was great. I think Jackson scored a lovely goal. The oh, yeah. Any welcome memory cricket one? Yeah, the Dhoni Sixer, man. Nobody can forget that. The the earlier one, my father says, was better. But I don't think so. But I think Dhoni Sixer, that always going to remain with us. We saw a few clips. There are very, very few clips. Uh, we saw a few individuals. Uh, the fact that almost the whole 11 plays in Europe and in big league is, is good. Uh, you're going to get a very good team to play against, and which is always good. It'll be a good thing because not not every now and then you play a, a team from that region. Yeah. So you got to take that. And also the coach has promised us that he's going to bring us more European games. Mm -hmm. I played for 13, 14 years. I haven't played European countries. I would love to do that. And uh, it's a good test for us. I hope, I really hope that we don't do badly because... And why I'm saying is because we don't do generally well outside the country. In the last 13 years, we have done all right at our home. We do all right at our home, but we haven't done... We are bad, let's, uh, let's be honest. We are bad outside the home. That's something that we really want to improve on. I really want to improve on and I know the team really wants to improve on. And there couldn't have been a better challenge than this. You know, in Vietnam, Thailand and in Khorasan, you get really tough challenge, which is good because then, you know, it's going to pump you that, 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 that much more. And with the new coach, it's a really good task that we have in our hands and we just hope that we go there and give our best. There are many, my friend. There are, there, there are many. Uh, I don't want to take names because the ones that I messed out are going to message me then. Ki bhai, I naam nahi liya. <laughs> but there are many and I think uh, we have a really good potential. Let me go more deeper. The under-15 team under under Bibiano really excites me. Really, really excites me. Not that the under-16, under-20 are not doing well. But that batch really excites me. There are a lot of players that are really, really good in there. So I think uh, we've got a good future ahead. Okay, if I have to name one player, attacking player who's going to do really well for us, it has to be Danta. If I have to take one midfielder that I really hope does well, nobody talks about him, is Sahal. And I really hope it's not a pressure, don't tell him, don't write about it. But if that guy understands the kind of potential he has and maintains his body and, 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 and puts his head on his shoulder, he's an extremely gifted talent. He's somebody who really excites me. I don't know if you guys have watched a lot of Sahal, but if that guy is fit, he's a proper talent. I'm a I'm fan of both of them. I've met both of them and uh, I was very, very happy with the first one also. And, even Kiran Sai, he's really good man. He's somebody who's really, uh, who you can go and talk to, who's, re who's really, uh, who takes a lot of inputs. So I just hope that, uh, you know, more and more things happen in sports. And uh, yeah, I think sports is one of the most important part of our country's growth. I truly believe it and I just hope that we as a nation do that.